Welcome back guys to another video on my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare for footmas. Black Friday promo is just about to finish so you know what I'm going to think two, two weeks in advance and we're going to cover previous SBC requirements, what cards you, you should be investing in to make some coins. That's going to be everything in this video. So guys if you're going to enjoy the video please give it a like. If you haven't already please subscribe and then we'll go straight into the video. Right, guys, before we get into, you know, the breakdown of what cards we're going to look into invest in, what happens to price, price graphs, etc., I'm going to just go, uh, you know, explain what kind of content you guys should be expecting for Footmas on FIFA 20. We're going on to FIFA 19 Footmas, and as you can see, um, the, the promo normally starts around about the 14th of December, and we have Torreira, Gomez, and Zaha. And how they're worked out is that it's normally done by the national team rank... Um, the club position last season and the shirt number and the content is is it normally starts on the 14th of December free SBCs every single day and what normally happens with these players is that because you can only do these players for one day and they're not in packs the demand on these cards are very very high so let's just look on the second day of December last year they dropped to Was Rashford and Dumbia and they're players that you know might not get many informs obviously Rashford obviously got a couple I think last year but mainly players that don't really get many informs and as you can see it's a reoccurring thing national team rank shirt number club position last season and some of these cards on Footmas are absolutely unreal it's one of my favorite promos look at Firmino what a card this Firmino looks like in Footmas and there's another one uh, in uh, Kevin De Bruyne, which is slightly down the list. Manuel Akanji. People are going to do these cards, especially if they're quite cheap. So we're just looking at the breakdown of what kind of content you should be seeing. Left mid son. So you're, so whatever the requirements for this card was at the time, whether it was, I don't know, a couple of informs, those informs were going to shoot because a, a footman son, 88 pace, 87 shooting, the demand is there for these cards, especially when they're only there for a day. You've got uh, Kadira. Bai, Ali, and you know, just very, very good players, very pla good players in demanded league, in uh, you know, in popular leagues, demanded leagues, and people are going to want to do them. So that is the kind of a breakdown of the content you guys should be expecting in Footmas FIFA 20, like the kind of players, players that don't really get many informs, position changed cards. So that's that's some of the best ones, position change cards, where you know they're normally a uh, a, a right back like Kimmich, and then they go into a CDM like. Those kind of uh, players and position changes you might expect to see. So now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go into FIFA 18, right? Because unfortunately, I can't find FIFA 19 SBC requirements on the on the internet anywhere. So we're going to look at FIFA 18 and look at what SBC requirements you could expect to see on some of these cards. Guys, we're on FIFA Analytics website and we are looking at Footmas FIFA 18. And we're going to be looking at some of the SBC requirements that were needed for footmas so we're going to start off with jacks who was an 80 who was an 86 so a uh, number of players from league one uh was minimum two six nationalities inform plus a foot champs player minimum one and what you're going to see with, with some of these is that every single sbc are requiring a, a inform or uh, a foot champions card so let's just have a look at some more popular ones some higher rated ones so let's look at koulibaly we'll have a look at koulibaly so again Number of number of players from Senegal minimum one. Number of players from Calcio a minimum uh, minimum three. Inform and foot champions players minimum two. So obviously, if you've got any like informs that run about 83, 84, keep them in your club. But there's also a reoccurring thing, a uh, theme um, within these requirements and it is team chemistry so when we look into the investments it's going to be very very important what kind of investments we're looking at because we don't really want to be picking up the cheapest 83 or 84 just for the sake of it because they're not going to give us you know the correct chemistry so we want to be picking up cards that um you know that are in the best league so from france from league one from the premier league from the bundesliga so we're going to be looking at investments uh, such as those so again Inform a foot champions player minimum one. So if you you know if you've played weekend league at all this year, keep those foot champions cards if they're like 82, 83, 84, especially if you've got any from any from half decent leagues, because then you may be able to put one or two of these um towards a card that you might like. And any informs that you get, I know there's a team mil week SPC out, but we're going to be looking into some of those. Let's have a look at uh Gnabry. Gnabry is a, probably a player look some insane stats, 91 pace, 83 shooting. This was probably a card that was done quite often. So this one only required an 81 team rating. Uh, inform and foot champions players uh, required minimum one. So we only had to put one inform or one foot champions player in. Uh, same league, uh, maximum six. Again, minimum 
uh, AT team chemistry. So team chemistry is vitally important for some of these SBCs. So now we've you know we've we've gone through the breakdown of what SBC requires we we, sh we should be looking at. We're now going to go into the final bit of the video, and that is some of the um, you know investments you guys should be making to make some coins on some of these cards, or just to do these cards so they're slightly cheaper for you. Now, guys, to the best bit of the video and it's going to be the most important because we're going to be looking at price graphs and how cards reacted uh to the demands of informs required in sbcs how they affected their price and then what cards we should be looking at so we're on fifa 18 at the moment and we're going to be looking at a couple of cards that were out of packs and guys i'm going to tell you now cards that are out of packs at the time are going to be the ones that rebound the most so let's have a look at granite jacker so granite jacker uh, is a player that was I think was in one of the first team of the weeks. So let's just have a look at his price and how it reacted So so let's look at firstly the promo that has just finished for us and that is Black Friday So around about Black Friday he was around about 39,000 coins and then obviously he dipped down a, a bit to around about 36k and Then he went back up back up a bit to around about 42k and he dipped down to around about 38,000 coins, but then when S when um you know, Footmas started, he started creeping up. He hit around about 45k and everyone probably thought, oh, that was his peak. He dropped down again to 39,000 and then boom. On Christmas Eve, he went up to uh, uh, 50,000 a card. 50,000 coins a card. So imagine if you picked him up around about here at his lowest at 36,000. You're making around about 12k a card here. So let's look at someone else. And we're going to look at Peter Check. Obviously, again, all the cards I'm going to be looking at, guys, are going to be strong links. Or, well, you know, not necessarily strong links with each other, but, you know, they're in good um, they're in good leagues because of the fact that the requirements were AT chemistry. So, uh, if you remember correctly, some of the cards were, uh, you know, that were required, some of the requirements were, right, we need, we need chemistry. So let's have a look at Peter Check again. So the 9th of December, at his lowest, he was around about 26K. And Footmas started around about the 14th. So from here to here, he's already gained 4K. So obviously, if you put one in your club, you've gained 3,000 coins. But if you wait patiently, again, Christmas Day, guys. Um, well, Christmas Day, New Year's, uh, Christmas Eve, 34,000 coins. Again, if you've picked this card up here and then sell him here, that's around about 8,000 coins a card. That's insane value. Now, let's have a look at one more and we're gonna look at pablo four nails and i think this is possibly the best one again 84 rated is in a very good league uh very good you know nationality can link with multiple spanish players so let's just have a look at how much he was so we go 30th uh 12 2018 so guys look so at the beginning of December, before the Footmas promo has started, he is 33,000 coins, which is lowest. And then again, the Footmas promo started around about the 14th of December. So on the 14th of December, he is actually 41,000 coins a card. So after tax, you're looking at what? 42. So you're looking around about 7K, 6 to 7K a card if you picked him up here and sold him here. But then obviously he was requ required... Uh, for you know some SBCs requirements, so it was forty. I don't know why it keeps juttering the you know the the windows like that. For forty seven thousand, then he went down to forty four thousand. But again, come twenty fifth New Year's Eve slash Christmas Day, he was twenty three thousand coins. Uh, twenty three thousand because he's fifty three thousand coins on Christmas Eve, and he was sixty seven thousand coins here. And obviously that does have a huge player part when. Obviously, new users on FIFA, then obviously the opening packs just means there's more coins on the market. So 67,000 coins. So these are the kind of cards we should be looking at um, regarding how they how their price was affected by Footmas. Now we're going to be looking at some cards that you guys should be looking at to invest in. So we're now obviously on FIFA 20 and we're going to be looking at some 84s. So the first 84 I want to, want to look at is maybe someone like... Uh, Dimitri Payet. Dimitri Payet in a very good league. 18,000 coins is someone who who could who could go up in a very good league. French. Uh, Gerard Moreno. Again, only 19,500. He could be a good player to invest in. And when I mean investing, guys, only pick up one one or max two. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So, obviously, the, the cheapest 84s in La Liga at the moment are Munani and Santi Cazorla. Obviously, if you look at... Um, also, Bayal and what I said, Gerard Moreno. There's only a couple of K gap, which means there is still room to grow. So if you put one in your in your club, then he might rise a couple of K just off the back of a SBC requiring him an 84. So um, 
yeah, Santi Cazorla and Munanin would be good. But then obviously, as Footmus goes on, there could be a La Liga player that requires La Liga players that needs good chemistry. So these guys here, Santi Cazorla, Munanin, um, Orzabal, and Gerald Moreno, these guys might go up to 25, 30k. So, so that is very important. But the most important thing about these cards is the fact they are out of packs currently and they've been out of packs for a while. That means they have got more room to grow. I'm not saying that cards that are currently in packs, in forms that are currently in packs that are cheap are not going to, you know, are not going to rise. But just because obviously there's so much supply on the market, especially through cards that are, you know, they're in a team a week of Black Friday, they'll just take longer to, ri to rise because of um, just so much demand, well, so much supply onto the market. Tammy Abraham in the Premier League, only 16,500. But if they drop an SBC, you know that Kovacic SBC that we saw in FIFA 18, if they dropped a Premier League one that requires an 84 or an 85 inform, Tammy Abraham, if they requires good chemistry, like 70, 80 chemistry, he's going to be one of the first uh, picks that you guys are going to have to pick up because he's the cheapest 84 inform. So... So at 16,500, this card again might rise to 25k. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like on the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're about just over, we've just hit over uh, 1,250 subscribers. So that's absolutely fantastic. And if you want more, you know, more content like this, please comment like what content you want to see. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you later.